Hi, we are back in my kitchen and it has been far too long since I've done any sort of cooking video, but I have been asked by several of my girlfriends, what am I making for dinner these days? We are all stuck at home and I think some of you guys are getting in a dinner time wrap. <laughs> my daughter. Uh, so I thought I would come to you and show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm going to be making barbecue root beer ribs and I chose ribs on purpose. Uh, first they were available in the grocery store. so. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, but really, ribs are a family and party favorite. They're regularly on sale, so they're good for that. But ribs can be really good or they can be really tough. So I picked up about a three pound slab of baby back ribs and we're going to cook it in the Pampered Chef's Quick Cooker. It is our pressure cooker. And I guess it's just going to really take the guessing out whether the ribs will be um, like fall off the bone or tough as nails. It's a really simple recipe. So let me catch you to speed with what I've done so far. I took the membrane off the underside of the ribs. You want to remove that. It's really tough. It also traps on a bunch of fat that you just don't need. So I removed that membrane and then I heavily seasoned them in our smoky barbecue rub. And I cut the rack of ribs into four equal sections because that is going to allow them to fit in the quick cooker a lot better. And then to the quick cooker, we're just going to add about six ounces of root beer. And adding root beer, it's going to just kind of lightly infuse the ribs with vanilla and a little bit of molasses. So they're going to be a little sweet and then we'll combine it with a, a barbecue sauce that has a kick. So we're going to drop these rib pieces into the quick cooker, four sections. And then we're just going to turn the quick cooker to the beef setting. The default time is 35 minutes, I think, and we will let the quick cooker do its magic. So lid goes on, makes a noise when it's locked, it's set to beef right now, and I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Back in the kitchen, ribs are done, and just as the recipe said, once the cooking time was over, we let it just naturally rest for another 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hit the steam release valve, release any remaining pressure in the pressure cooker. And then we'll take the ribs out. Close up of these. The um, sauce is definitely still boiling. I'm going to cancel that. That's just set to the, it was just on the sear setting. And again, I had just reserved one cup of the uh, broth from before, the root beer, and then just the juices from the ribs. And then I added in like a good cup and a half of barbecue sauce because you can never have too much sauce on ribs. And I went ahead and coated one full side. I'm going to put these under the broiler. The broiler is nice and hot um, and will crisp up uh, just the sugars in the sauce. And they're done. Barbecue root beer ribs. You can just see how the sugars just kind of bubbled and started to caramelize right on top. I think they're going to be delicious. So that's what's for dinner.